everyone and welcome to Nissa's Kitchen. Today I am making stuffed green chili peppers. Um, they are absolutely delicious. I think I'm kind of obsessed with these. So <laughs> you can have these on their own in a salad or with a curry. They are absolutely delicious in any way. Um, they're tangy, sour and spicy, encompass all in one. So if you like this recipe, then please like and share my video and subscribe to my channel and let's get started making this. So for this recipe, I'm taking about seven to eight uh, uh, long chili peppers, about a teaspoon of cumin seeds, about a teaspoon of coriander seeds, uh, also about a teaspoon of fennel seeds. I'm also taking uh, a juice of one lime and then some chaat masala. So the first thing is to grind the fennel seed, uh, coriander seeds and uh, cumin seed. So I'm doing that in my mortar and pestle. Uh, you don't want these to be uh, in a powder, powdery form. You just want them roughly grinded. And once that is done, then I'm going to add uh, salt uh, to your taste. Uh, you can always add more salt if you want, uh, but you can't take it out. So uh, start with a light hand. And then I'm also going to add some chaat masala. I added about one third teaspoon. It's a blend of spices that South Asians uh, use. You can buy it at any South Asian grocery store. Um, once that is done, I'm going to juice uh, one lemon into my uh, spice mixture. And then this is the consistency you're looking for. It is not too thick. It's not too uh, runny. Uh, this is the perfect amount of consistency uh, to stuff it in the peppers. Then to prepare the peppers, uh, you're going to take a knife and after leaving a little bit of the top at the top, you're just going to make a slit um, all the way down. Uh, but just before you reach the tip, you're going to stop. So I'm not going to go all the way down. I stop just before uh, the tip. Uh, and then just open it up a little so that you uh, make a little pocket Then put it aside and do the same thing to all the other chili peppers once that's done You're just going to take your stuffing with the help of a spoon. You're going to uh, stuff it in the chili peppers and um, This is uh, how um, I've stuffed it So I've put in as much as I could in the chili peppers and then I did the same to all of them I like to put the chili peppers in the fridge for a few hours, one or two hours, so all the flavors get mixed in. After that, you just uh, take them out, put them in a frying pan and uh, drizzle a little bit of oil and then cover the pan and let the, um, the chili peppers cook for on medium low, medium low to low heat. Uh, once they're cooked, um, you will know because they would look like this. Ta-da! Big reveal. They may not look pretty, guys, but I assure you, you would love them. They're absolutely delicious. Um, you can enjoy them once again on their own. I just love them on their own. But you can enjoy them with a salad, with a curry, anyhow you want. I enjoyed them with some lentils and oatmeal that my mom had prepared. I did share them with my parents, guys. I did not eat all of it, but I really wanted to. <laughs> but I know, I know. It's not good for you, too much spice. Uh, but these are not just spicy, they're yummy. Um, so if you like this recipe, then please like and share my video. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any other recipes. Also, let me know in the comments below, how did you like this recipe? Did you enjoy it? Um, any other recipes you guys would like me to make? Until next time, take care.